Hey y'all, Crystal and Mrs. HappyHomemaker.com here, and today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorites, my homemade apple pie muffins for streusel topping. This recipe is a cinch to make. Let me show you how to throw it together. So I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees, and I'm going to make up my batter. Now to my bowl here, I'm going to add two and one quarter cups of all-purpose baking flour. Now I'm gonna add a teaspoon of baking soda and a half a teaspoon of salt. You can also use self-rising flour and skip the uh, baking soda and the salts. I'm gonna mix this up to combine it real quick. Now in my measuring cup, I have one cup of buttermilk. I'm gonna crack one egg into that buttermilk. I'm gonna whisk that up with a fork. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm gonna give it a whisk and pour it into my dry batter, my dry batter. Now I'm gonna add one stick of melted butter. That's about a half a cup. I'm gonna add one and a half cups of packed brown sugar. I'm gonna stir all of this up until it's well combined. Now I'm gonna stir in two and a half cups of apples that I have peeled and diced. I've actually got a mix of Granny Smith's and September Wonders that I picked up at the Apple Orchards in North Georgia last week. And I'm gonna reserve these for another recipe I'm gonna make next. And I'm gonna stir my apples in. And this was two and a half cups that I added. I have just sprayed my muffin pan with some non-stick cooking spray. And I am going to fill the muffin cups up to the top. You can also put paper liners inside of your uh, muffin tray. So I'm going to add a half a cup of brown sugar, a third of a cup of all-purpose flour. I'm going to use a teaspoon of cinnamon. Now I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of melted butter and stir that up to combine it to make my streusel toppings. Now I'm gonna take my streusel topping and I'm gonna sprinkle it generously on top of my muffins. Now this recipe makes about 24 muffins, so I'm gonna divide this mixture half and half and divide half of this on this batch of muffins and save the rest for the other batch. I'm going to take this to my oven. I'm going to cook this on 350 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. So my apple pie muffins are done. I let them cool a little bit for taking out of my muffin pan, but I'm already ready to dig into one. You guys, <laughs> these are my favorite, favorite muffin. Other than my blueberry muffins, these are my second favorite muffin. Can y'all see the inside of that? That big old chunk of apple. And it's got this nice crispy strudel topping. Mmm. Mm -hmm. If you like this recipe, then check out my blog, MrsHappyHomemaker.com. You can also find me across all the social media land underneath Mrs. Happy Homemaker. Till next time, bye y'all.